Super Typhoon Goni is now a monster. It has intensified to a Category 5 recently. From my analysis, it is now 275 km per hour and the pressure of 909 hectopascals. It is moving west-southwest at 16 km per hour and located at 16.3 N 131.3 E. The wind field is tiny but the storm is very strong. The cyclone damage potential index is about 96. Goni will affect 48 hours later. Also, the storm is now 925 km from deep that will arrive on Sunday afternoon, 1,115 km from Kazan City which will arrive on Monday midnight, 1,120 km from Manila that will arrive at the same time. 1,105 km from Cabana to and City that will arrive on Monday midnight and 1,150 km from Tarlac City that will arrive on Monday midnight. Sea surface temperature is hot now, which is about 30 degree. Vertical wind shear is low for the storm, which is about 10 knots. Here is the chance of experiencing wind. In term of gale wind, there are 85% in Deet, 78% in Kazan City, 76% in Manila, 69% in Cabana 2 and City and 65% in Tarlac City. In term of storm wind, there are 72% in Deet, 59% in Kazan City, 57% in Manila, 50% in Cabana 2 and City and 47% in Tarlac City. In term of hurricane wind, there are 56% in Deet, 42% in Kazan City, 41% in Manila, 37% in Cabana 2 and City and 35% in Tarlac City. Intensity is going to maintain or increase further, possible with higher peak. Vertical wind shear remains low for the next couple day and then rise. Sea surface temperature will maintain in the next 48 hours. Humidity is now average, which is about 55%. The satellite imagery and infrared imagery show that the eye and the convection are impressive just looks like a monster. It became the strongest storm in 2020. Further intensification is possible which mean this storm is extreme danger. Therefore, who lives in the Philippines should do the preparation very seriously. Finally, thank you for watching this video.